We are in Vegas. Hi, we're in Vegas. I'm so sorry my dad takes a shower really bad. <laughs> Daddy's taking a shower right now. Yeah, so I mommy Vegas. took the kids to Vegas. Yeah, Vegas. Vegas, baby. All right, let's dive right in and check out how I made this set for Vegas vacation. The first thing that I did was glue on some tips and then I built up some structure with gel. Next, let's start on the first nail. It's going to be one of our water nails. This nail is inspired by Cirque du Soleil. And so what I did was hand painted a stage and some water. And then here I'm using resin gel to build up a little bit of structure on the side. I'm putting another tip on top and then I cure that. And then I cover up one end of the nail tip. Next up, I am using the 4D gel in creme de la creme, and I'm sculpting a little diver. I fill in the nail with some glitz and some glitter and water, and then I seal up the other end. Now this part is one of my new favorite techniques. So we're going to do the three-step method to adhere gems. First, we do a thin layer of the glue gel, and then over top of that, you put the eye hold gel, and then you use your crystal picker and put all of your gems on. Then you can go ahead and cure it. Next, with the precision glue gel, fill in any little cracks. The next step is to use the gel paint in pure white and make a little rectangle and sugar it with acrylic. Next up is hand painting a royal flush. One tip that I learned when I was a kid for painting is our teacher had us take a picture and put it upside down and draw it that way because it made us pay attention to where all the little lines and details are. So always pay attention to where you want to place different colors and lines and you should have a really good looking painting with some practice. And here is the finished nail with all the bling and the royal flush. Our next nail is inspired by the Cosmopolitan Hotel. So there is a gigantic shoe in there and you can create that using the 4D gel. Next up, cut a hole in the nail tip and using some thread and glitter and crystals, make crystal curtains. Using gel paint, fill in the details of the shoe and here is your finished look. So cool. All right, now who doesn't think of weddings when you think of Las Vegas? This nail says till death and it is made to look like a neon sign. We also make a wedding ring out of 4D gel, precision glue, and gel paint. Get creative when using the precision glue. Since it has a nice tiny little application tip, you can use it to create detail and some dimension and you can also use it like I am here to adhere things. I really like this product a whole lot. All right, and then we added some crystals to bling it out, and here is the finished nail. All right, we have a guest, my daughter Dolly. What do you want to say, Dolly? I like mom was what? the flamingo and her bug and the girl. <laughs> you like mommy's flamingo and the bug and the girl? Cool. Thank you, Miss Dolly. So the flamingo is made with 40 gel, and then using the precision glue, add on some feathers. And when you're done, use a spoolie and brush out the feathers. And using that precision glue one more time, add on these crystal pixie pieces to amp up the bling. And here we have the flamingo nail inspired by the iconic hotel and my daughter's favorite of this set. This nail is inspired by the canal shops in the Venetian. And doing the same technique for the water nail, make yourself a cool water nail, and then using gel paint, I made a logo to represent the shops. And using that same three-step technique, bling out the nail. Then add some bling inside of the nail and add your water and close it back up. I put the crystals inside of this nail too, and I think it looks so cool. I love it. This praying mantis was inspired by the giant praying mantis in Container Park. He is made out of 4D gel and forest green, and he was made using the same technique as the flamingo 
to give him some cool texture and the crystal pixie with the eye hole gel and then bling out the sides of the nail. So cool. All right, let's revisit the neon sign technique. To give this a look, you use white paint and then go over it with a sheer neon and kind of paint outside of the lines as well and it gives the effect of glowing. So I made the Vegas sign that's on Fremont Street and then we added it to a dark blingy nail and we blinged it out a little bit to make it fancy and cutie pie. All right, this next nail is an ode to all of the fancy singers on Vegas. So I made a blinged out microphone and I'm imagining that this is something that Cher would use. So using the 4D gel and some gel polish, I sugared glitter on. Once you are done making the head of the microphone, it is time to attach it to your blingy nail. So bling out a nail using that same three-step technique and attach it to the microphone body with glue gel. This is such a simple nail to make, but it is so cute. I think it has a really big impact. And I like the microphone. And you like the microphone. And what set of Las Vegas nails doesn't have a showgirl? So first, cover the entire nail with a 4D gel and creme de la creme and sculpt out the body. Next up, make the bodice with some nutting and passionate pink 4D gel. To give some shading and detail to her face, use matte top coat diluted with a little bit of gel polish. And then finally, add the feathers in the back and bling her out. She is so cute. I love her so much. I love her so much. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to Nails Magazine and thank you to Glam Accessories and such for sponsoring this challenge. Voting opens tonight, so don't forget to vote. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.